you back a little bit. Gunner, hello. How's it going? You're the first one here. Got the early crew showing up. Easy V, Blue Jay Gaming. How's it going? Just waiting for a few more people to arrive and then we will get into it. It's a very special week. Corey Chapman. All right, looks like we're starting to get the Brave crew here. All right, here we go. Everybody's showing up now. What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome to a very special live stream uh, from Davos. I don't know how many of you out there are aware of what's going on in Davos, Switzerland this week, but it's the World Economic Forum. And I was invited to participate in this week's forum uh, on behalf of YouTube uh, for content creators, but also uh, the World Economic Forum has asked me to give you all more access to this world renowned event. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Davos is, it is a summit for business leaders, world leaders, academic leaders uh, to convene to help solve the world's problems by discussing the most important things happening on our planet right now. And it can be a whole range of events. We're talking everything from like what's going on in the Ukraine to climate change, to what's going on in space right now. And, you know, uh, all the technologies that are impacting uh, these common areas of our world. So there's just a whole heap of things going on here at this forum. And uh, my job is to observe and to see what's going on and to obviously uh, be an ambassador for all of you, all of us on the Brave Wilderness channel. Uh, I am here specifically this week to learn more about uh, what people are doing to impact nature, uh, what people are doing to help, uh, you know, really perpetuate conservation and rewilding of natural lands. And of course, I'm here to give you all uh, behind the scenes access to this um, pretty amazingly eclectic event. I mean, while, you know, if you do a quick Google search on Davos, you'll see certain headlines, you know, that, you know, it's a very elite event, or it's a very private event, or it's a event shrouded in mystery. But I can tell you my first impressions uh, of being here for only a day now is that it is a very diverse event. Um, yes, you have uh, really wealthy business leaders here. Yes, you have presidents and, uh, you know, global uh, politicians and leadership here, but you also have a lot of folks um, in business and in uh, you know adjacent economies that are here uh, to do the actual tangible work that's going to help solve world issues. So with that being said, looks like there's still quite a few of you hanging out. I would like to answer some of your questions about Davos. Um, and if you wanna type those in the chat, I will be answering questions for like the next half hour about the event, at least the best that I can. I just got here. I'm just getting my first exposure to this incredible event, which by the way, I'm so humbled to get to, to be here. It's like totally um, sort of remarkable for a YouTuber to have permissions to have this whole open access to this event. So it, it's amazing uh, opportunity, not only for myself and Brave Wilderness, but for, for all of us here to learn more about what's going on. So um, I had a list of things that I wanted to, to download you on before we get into the questions. One of the questions that I know uh, you're all going to want to ask is who's attending? Who's actually showing up at Davos? Because, uh, you know, every year, um, whether it's the president of the United States or, you know, some other global leader or billionaire, they kind of like take the headline. But there's a lot of other folks here. So I made a short list of people that I know are attending. Um from the influencer side and uh, the celebrity side, I know Will I Am is going to be here this week. Hopefully, I get to meet Will I Am. That would be awesome. Uh, football players Ronaldo and Messi are going to be here. Uh, U.S. politicians uh, Al Gore and John Kerry will be here, and then uh, business leaders, um, including Mark Benahoff and Bill Gates, are going to be showing up here this week. And hopefully, I will get to actually potentially meet and interview um, some of the people that I just named on that list. So that would be pretty incredible. Um, so if you do have questions for anyone, type it specifically in the comments and I'll put that in the memory bank. So I make sure to help you all understand, like me, what's going on here at Davos. Um, 
So with that, I think that's enough of the short list. Let's get into it. Uh, if you have questions today, I'm definitely going to be doing shout outs like usual. Uh, but if you have questions specific about Davos, I'm going to lean into those questions uh, more so than the typical wildlife stuff that we talk about. So where is Snoop Dogg? <laughs> That's one of the questions. Well, as far as I know, I don't think uh, Snoop Dogg is attending this year, but you never know. It is a very collective crowd. Uh, and I know a lot of attendees um, uh, decide to come out here to Davos, Switzerland last minute. So you never know. Snoop Dogg could make an appearance. Let's see. What else do we have here? Blue Jay Gaming says, I love behind the scenes. Cool. Well, this week is going to be dedicated behind the scenes. Oh, reminds me. So I will be going live here on Brave Wilderness two more times this week while I'm here at Davos. But if you want to get like some of my movements, some of the, the interactions that I'm having, you need to subscribe to the Mark Vins channel. So uh, I put a link in the description of this live. But if you just search Mark Vins, subscribe to that channel, I'm going to be uploading shorts. Uh, I'm going to potentially be going live from there as well. And I'm also going to be posting a lot of photographs from behind the scenes on the uh, community wall. So uh, I am going to keep it fairly exclusive to the YouTube platform this week. And there's going to be a whole lot of smaller sort of like, you know, me walking around content on the Mark Vins channel specifically. But I will be going live here on Brave Wilderness as well. Uh, here we go. Romario wants to know, how did you get access there? Uh, great question. And uh, the short answer is I was asked to attend this event um, from our partners at YouTube uh, and the World Economic Forum's uh, social team. Uh, they're really trying to make this event um, particularly more visible uh, and transparent to the public because uh, I can tell you, like, there are a lot, a lot, lot, lot of people in this small town. It can only hold so many people. Um, so they wanted to make sure that at least a few of us that are attending the event have ways of communicating what's happening in real time. So I'll be one of those people this week. So that's how I got invited to this event. And again, like I said, very humbled to be here. And it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. So how can I say no? Plus, not to mention, uh, this is my first trip to Switzerland. I have not spent much time in Europe, but I can tell you that Switzerland, um, of all the places I visited in Europe thus far, is by far the most beautiful. I feel like I'm living in a painting out here that with the, the mountains and uh, the forests and the rivers. Uh, I took the train uh, to Davos from Zurich, um, which is where I flew into. And it was like literally living inside of like some fairy tale. Like every time the train would turn a corner, it would just open up this beautiful picturesque landscape. So if you ever do visit Davos or, or come to Switzerland in general, I highly recommend taking public transportation, not only because it's good for the environment, but it's also an amazing way to really see this country um, as you make your way to where you're going. All right, looks like we got a lot more questions. Let's get to it. Oh, here we go. So Juan Pedro uh, asks, uh, what do you think of this institution of the elite deciding on the fate uh, for the rest of us? So I think that's, I can definitively say I've not been here long, but elite is probably not a good label for this event. Although there are elite business leaders and politicians here. There's lots of grassroots organizations, influencers like me. There's lots of people that are, are doing um, scientific research. I was just up at, at this uh, Arctic base camp uh, where people are talking about like polar ice and things like that. So I don't think this is a um, an unelected group of people. I think these are just this is a summit for leaders, people who are, um, you know, promoting problem solving issues and, and starting uh, enterprises and organizations that are helping make our world a better place. So um, yeah, the, the whole term elite, I think that's a that's a media tabloid thing and it's not really true, at least from my perspective so far. I'll keep, uh, I'll keep you up to speed, Juan, as we go throughout the week. And if my opinion changes, I'll let you know. <laughs> Let's see. Cadian says, yo, Mark, how's it going? Uh, Voldemort. Okay, Voldemort, what's, what's happening there exactly? So uh, a lot of things are happening here. Uh, there are exhibits set up. Like I mentioned, I was at this like Arctic base camp, which I'll be posting a short on my YouTube channel, on the Mark Vince channel here soon, probably tonight. Uh, so there's exhibits uh, where people are talking about issues of concern. Um, you know, there's like a 
a Ukraine exhibit here this week, obviously, because it's a very you know top level issue right now in the world. There uh, are a lot of meetings like right behind me, this Congress hall. Uh, people give speeches. There's uh, forums where, other, you know, there'll be a panel of people talking about certain issues, whether it's climate related or science related or business related. There's just like the full spectrum of the, the world's economy and the things that are impacting all of us being discussed here. So that's happening. And then, of course, there's a lot of meetings taking place. Um, I will be attending a bunch of meetings this week in terms of, you know, rewilding the planet, uh, cons uh, nature conservation, protecting uh, endangered species, those sorts of things, those topics. This is a really great opportunity for people who can make an impact and to help, you know, broadcast information to a wider public to understand and collectively agree upon what the solutions might be. So hopefully that makes sense. In a nutshell, it's a lot of things going on all at once. And uh, it's a very, very diverse group of folks. Alexander Gross, we love your videos. Thank you, Alexander. I really appreciate that. Uh, Alexander Stewart, yes, I can say hi to you. All right. What is the population of Davos? Gosh, I do not know, uh, but I will tell you that it's probably spiked this week. There's a whole lot of people in town, and uh, I would not recommend just coming to Davos, this town, during this week if you're not part of the World Economic Forum, because pretty much all the stores, all the hotels, everything that is part of this town is um, sort of transformed into being like uh, meeting spaces, places for uh, those exhibits that I just spoke about to happen. So uh, I would say come visit here because it's beautiful every other week. Um, but when the forum's here, it's, it's definitely like limited on what you can and can't do. Um, I'm lucky enough to uh, have, you know, been invited. So that's what I'm doing here. Let's see. Let's see. Love from India. The Falcon Squad. Yes, I can say hi. How's it going? Vanguard wants me to visit Norway soon. I'd love to visit Norway. Uh, All right. In vino veritas, do you think the WEF, the WEF is, is sort of a short term slang for World Economic Forum, uh, actually can bring changes to our world? To me, it sometimes just feels like a show. Um, yeah, that's a really good point. And I would say that the changes aren't happening here. The discussions are happening here. The people that are attending here are responsible for making the impact and making the changes. Um, and I saw someone uh, earlier up the chat say like that these are unelected leaders. These are not like randomly selected people. They, these are people that are leading organizations like Salesforce and Microsoft and Meta and Google and all of the products and you know things that we consume as a world. So um, we do elect these people just so we're all clear. Like this is not like a random special list. These are people that are representing all of us through the things that we buy, the places we go, the means of travel that we use, the sustainability causes that we believe in, all the things that we support kind of distill into what this event is. And it is very much a, like I said, diverse crowd of people. It, it is not like a smoke filled black back room or anything like that. It's very open. And I will tell you another thing about the people here. They're all very lovely. Like I've, I've met quite a few people. People are outgoing. They're very open to conversation. Um, even if they're very important people, people are here to communicate with others. So uh, I've really already appreciated the willingness to have a talk and have open discussions. And I think it's a very fluid environment. Let's see. Uh, Blue Jay Gaming, what's going on in the background? Looks like somebody is doing an interview right there. Right? So this is the media space. I have a media badge which uh, allows me to access this part of the uh, the forum. So uh, the room that I'm in right now is set up for interviews and meetings. I will be doing some interviews and meetings um, in here later this week. So stay tuned for that. But uh, this is the main Congress hall. So uh, the biggest speeches and the biggest uh, presentations are going to happen right there behind me. Let's see. The 
uh, Bragas Seal. How long did it take to get there? So I flew into Zurich from Boston, which was like a little over a seven hour flight. So not definitely not the longest flight. Uh, those of you been watching uh, uh, the channel uh, long enough now know we've been on much longer flights to places like Australia or South Africa, but you know, healthy size flight. And then I had to get on a train, couple train swaps uh, to get here to Davos. It took about two hours. So in total, I would say like 10 hours of total travel. Uh, so not too bad, uh, depending on how you want to get here. Um, a lot of people, you know, rent cars from Zurich or other places in Europe to drive to this town because it is in the mountains. Like we are very much in the mountains of Switzerland, the Alps. But, uh, you know, I always recommend taking public transit, not only because it's, uh, it's way better for the environment. It's just uh, a cooler experience. It allows you to absorb a little bit more of the culture right away. Uh, watch older also were there any problem, problems flying there nope uh, there was definitely no problems flying there uh, staken uh, we're not a kids channel sorry we're not uh, actually just so everyone knows our average age demographic is 21 to 30 uh, on this channel so I'm not sure I understand that one. Uh, Phase Funny Monkey, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for loving our videos. Of course, you can have a shout out. Uh, <laughs> great name. Uh, Lily Campbell wants to know, what is Davos and WF? They're the same. So Davos is a town in Switzerland. That's physically where we're at right now. WF is the World Economic Forum. A lot of folks call the World Economic Forum Davos for short. Uh, uh, it's also called WEF. So it's all like three names, one in the same. And it, it is a summit for uh, business and world leaders and academics and people that are trying to create change and solve the world's biggest problems. That's, that's the best way to describe what it is. And it's, it's, you know, holistically, a lot of different activities. There's a lot of speeches, there's a lot of talks, there's panel discussions, there's exhibits, there's meetings, there's all kinds of networking happening here. And uh, it's really for um, the conversations we need to be having to happen in a centralized place, because we all know that like one thing affects another. another. So the overlap of like industry and science and what policymakers are doing, it's all being discussed here so that the alignment and the direction of, of solutions can be done as a group and, you know, brings everyone together. That's the best way to describe it. <laughs> so I'm seeing somebody ask, what's with all the negativity? Oh, so, okay. You might, you might notice I'm skipping some of the negative comments and I want to address that. Uh, one of the reasons I'm here is to sort of unravel that negativity. Um, a lot of that is tabloid stuff, guys. Like you just have to understand that um, people are trying to sell magazines and news stories with like conspiracy theories and uh, a lot of like mystery shroud in this event has very little to do with what uh, isn't supposed to be happening here happening. It has more to do with like, it's just now become accessible for people who can communicate to the, to the world like I can or like Brave Wilderness can or like uh, I, there's other social influencers here. So yeah, this is not some like closed door thing. This is a very much an open community. Like there's only out of this hallway, one level of security gates to get in here with my badge. But the entire town of Davos is pretty much open to the public. Like pretty much anybody who wants to can, you know, get themselves to Davos can be part of this uh, world event. So um, while you do need credentials just because of capacity limitations in the event hall, uh, it's not closed off. It's not like there's some world order controlling this whole thing. It, it is a business economic summit and people I can tell you are trying to do really good things for the world here. So there you go. Thank you, Fox beam. I appreciate that. Uh, see scrolling through the comments 
Oh, John Wick, you being paid? No, I'm not. I'm not being paid to be here. Actually, I'm here uh, because I thought it was a great opportunity. I'm here making video content because that's what we do. And uh, a lot of the issues that I care about and that we care about in terms of nature and sustainability um, on the Brave Wilderness channel are being discussed here. And a lot of this, the decision making happening here, um, we want to be part of the progress. We want to be part of the good things that come out of events like this. So that's why I'm here. I'm here on my own. Um, I'm not here because I'm getting paid or I'm being told to say anything. I'm totally, this is me unfiltered. So there you go. All right. Darth, just, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the second part. Wants to know, uh, what is you there to promote or help? So I'm trying to give everyone access to this event. I'm going to be posting a lot of shorts. I'm going to be, uh, anything that I find interesting, I'm going to post about. I'm going to give everyone watching more access to this event, show everyone what's exactly going on. I'm going to be taking my phone around and I'm going to be filming a lot of things here while I'm in Dava. So definitely stay tuned. This is just sort of the announcement that I'm here. Uh, and the reason I'm here is to make this whole event more transparent. So hopefully those of you who are skeptical will watch this week and learn a lot more about what's really happening here at Davos. Corey Garcia, of course you can get a shout out. Oh, here we go. Uh, Bozer Theropod, uh, can you make an episode in Switzerland's wilderness? There's beautiful and biodiverse alpine meadows there. Definitely. I, I will be making shorts. Uh, I was just on the top of a mountain. It was absolutely gorgeous. So I was uh, filming a piece of a short up there. So I will be releasing some content um, that is like exterior of the actual event and more outside here this week. So stay tuned for that. How long am I going to be in Switzerland? I will be in Switzerland for the next three days. So uh, I'll be posting a lot of content over the next three days. And yeah, um, it's going to be like an open eyes, open ears experience. I do have some things pre-scheduled that I'm going to be attending. But for the most part, I'm going to be just like most folks that are here trying to understand um, what information I can learn and what people I can meet. And I'm going to share that with all of you. Brave Wilderness fan, can you get a shout out? Of course. All right, here's another one. This is from Allie. Hello, uh, hello, Mark. What do you feel these discussions should focus on in the WF, especially considering the problems we have right now? Um, example, colony collapse disorder for bees. Uh, yeah, so like there is no topic off the table here at this event. This is all industry, all kind. This is like a total melting pot of information and ideas and people that are leaders in the world here. But in terms of what I consider um, interesting and important here are those sorts of things, like learning about what's happening in the polar and Arctic regions of the world, because it, it is in terms of um, preservation and cli the climate crisis, it is like the most at risk ecosystem currently. We're seeing the most changes there now. So I'm very interested in learning more about the science about it. I'm learning about the solutions that might be possible um, to help preserve that ecosystem. I wanna learn about the wildlife that live there. Uh, I wanna learn more about what's happening in countries in Africa in terms of wildlife, um, Asia. Um, I wanna learn more about what's going on with the world's oceans, oceans and uh, you know, our marine ecosystems are a huge category here at Davos. So um, you asked, you know, what should people be focusing on here at WF? I think it, it is dependent on what your perspective is. And for me, it is sustainability and nature. So I'll be really excited to attend a lot of those talks. And there's actually a talk in this hall um, about um, nature's warning signs, like what's going on with the climate in just about an hour. So I'll be checking that out.
Yogershire. Mark, can you make a wildlife workshop for teen students to learn more about wildlife? Sure. Um, in a way, I feel like we do that uh, on the channel, but in terms of, uh, you know, workshops and like, you know, things that others can be doing to help, uh, you know, make education of wildlife and nature more robust and to have more storytelling, more people telling these stories is a big um, pursuit of mine. And it's something that I'm hoping to make more accessible to the brave wilderness community here very shortly. Looking for a couple more comments on Davos. Uh, rural student wants to know, will you visit other places in the region afterwards? I'm here, I'm from here, and there are a lot of wonderful places. The oldest town of the country is not far from Davos, sure. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be staying past Wednesday. Uh, that's the last day I'm here, but uh, I can tell you I'm very impressed by Switzerland. Uh, already, let alone the event just being in Switzerland is phenomenal. And I'd love to come back here. I, I, you know, normally in my mind, when I hear the word Switzerland, I think about, of course, some of the famous exports like watches and chocolate and all the great things that, you, that are made here in Switzerland. But I also think of like skiing and mountains and like snow. Um, but it's definitely not that right now. Right now it is very green. Uh, the forests are very dense and lush. There's fields of wildflowers. Um, it, it is like living in a painting while I'm here. Like, so, uh, I, I'm definitely have been, I've been taken by, uh, Switzerland. I'm very impressed. would love to come back and film some more. Okay. So here's a good question. Cy Young movement would, wants to know why would Brave Wilderness be at a financial summit? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, this isn't just a financial summit. This is an economic summit. So of course, finances make a, a piece of what that equation is. But um, this is about the global systems, the economy, you know, all of that coming together. It's it's the, the melting pot that makes our world function. Um, that's what this event is about. That's why people are here and they're here from many different industries. I mean, everything from like, you know, conservation science to law, to uh, technology, to automotive and, and the advancements. There's a lot of EV vehicles running around this town that I've never seen before. So there's just such a spectrum of different things happening here at Davos. Uh, so that's why Brave Wilderness here, because one of the pieces of that spectrum is sustainability, is nature is what's happening with our environment, with wildlife at large. So that's why Brave Wilderness is here. Um, but I'm also here to check everything out. I'm, I, like I said, I'm here, eyes open, ears open. I want to learn. I want to be more knowledgeable. I want to share information with all of you um, because you know me and I'm here on my own accord to give you the real deal. Like this is uh, going to be an unfiltered week for me. I'm going to be posting a lot of shorts, going live at least two more times. Uh, I'll be uploading some interviews with some pretty important people uh, while I'm here. So Stay tuned, uh, coming up on time for today. So somebody else is gonna pop into this room and I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you all for hanging out and uh, learning a little bit about Davos and this kickoff to my week. I'm really excited to be here and I'm so excited for all of you that have joined the live stream today. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the Mark Vins channel uh, so you can see more about what's going on here at the World Economic Forum. All right, everybody, have a great evening. We'll see you, bye.